Hello again, my little mathematicians. We're going to be doing a warm up on prime factorization, which means you've already learned all these concepts. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video, try the problem, and then unpause it and check yourself. Okay, for each of these, because you already know how to do them. All right, so now that you're back with us for number one, as long as you got the same answer at the end, it's okay. Um, your factor tree could have looked different because you could have started with 6 times 8, 2 times 24, or 4 times 12. Um, or Again, like there's other possibilities you could have done, right? But no matter what, we always ended with 2 to the 4th times 3. And even within these trees, for 24, I could have done 4 times 6 like I did, or 2 times 12, or 3 times 8, and then kept going. And for here, I could have done two times six, which I did, or even three times four. So even if you started the same, your tree could have factored out differently, but you still end with the same prime factorization. Every number has its own unique, specific prime factorization. So as long as you get the same final answer, it's all good. Um, so number two, now that you're back with us, as long as you get the same answer, it's okay, even if you did it differently than how we're going to do it. Whenever a number ends in zero, I think it's easiest to just do 10. Um, and then that zero drops off and what's right here, 64. Okay, that's the easiest thing to start with for me. And then 10 breaks apart to two times five, prime, prime. 64, I could do two, but why not do eight times eight? That's easier. Okay, and then two times four, prime, but four can break apart to two times two, prime, prime and eight can break apart to two and four again, prime, but four breaks apart to two and two. All right, twos might be helpful if we cross them off so we don't miss any. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven twos times five. If you wanted to be extra, extra safe, you could multiply this out two times 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 five and make sure you get 640, okay? Or you can just trust your math. If your tree looked different, as long as you didn't make a math error, we still should have gotten the same answer. Um, with this one, some of you guys may have started with three. Some of you may have started with five. I think it's easier whenever something ends in zero, zero, 25, 50, or 75, I like to do quarters, okay? So... I know that four quarters are in a dollar, right? And I have $3 plus that extra 75 cents. So three quarters make that. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15 quarters. That's just a little bit faster how I like to do it. But if you started differently, that's okay. 25 is five times five. 15 is three times five, prime, prime. Okay, so there is one three times one, two, three, five. So five to the third power, right? One, two, three, fives. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to review some order of operations. Each time I have one of these, I like to write out that helpful phrase, what is it? PEMDAS. Okay, look for parentheses. They say, do me first, do me first. So right here, within the parentheses, you want to simplify it down to a singular number. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Now the 6 and 4 are gone, but I'm going to bring everything else surrounding it down. Okay, are there any more parentheses, meaning things that need to be simplified within the parentheses down to a single number? No. Do you see any exponents? Yes, right here, two squared. It's not um, this number times two, it's this number times itself that many number of times. So it's two times two, which is four, is what that simplifies to. And then I bring down that two, the five times four divided by 12. All right, parentheses are gone. Exponents are gone. Multiplication or division. Okay, you don't always multiply before you divide. When you're deciding between multiplying or dividing, it's whichever comes first from left to right. It's just you always multiply or divide before you add or subtract. But when deciding between these two, it's whatever comes first. So right here, 12 divided by 4 is 3. 
times 5 minus 2 times 4. All right, no parentheses, no exponents, multiplication or division right here, 15 minus 2 times 4. Okay, multiplication or division before addition or subtraction. So 2 times 4 is 8. Bring down the minus, 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. All right, if you got that right, congratulations. That was a tough one. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. This one also wants you to justify each step that you do. So the first thing we want to do is look for parentheses right here. 6 minus 3 is 3. Bring all this down. Okay, double check. Yep. And then what did I do? I simplified inside the parentheses. Okay. Uh, parentheses are simplified down to a singular number. Now I'm going to look for exponents right here. So this is saying 8 times 2, right? Hopefully you said no. Okay, it's not 8 times 2. It's 8 times itself 2 times. So 8 times 8 is 64 minus 3 divided by 3. All right, so parentheses are down to a singular number. No more exponents. Multiplication or division? Yep, right here. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Bring down the minus sign. Um, bring down that 64. And then the only thing we have left to do is 64 minus 1 is 63. Okay, so first, right here, we simplified inside the parentheses, right? What did we do from this step to this step? I found the value of a number with an exponent. So I found out that 8 squared equals 64. That's all I did. Okay, what about from here to here? What did you do? You divided 3 by 3, right? That's how you went from this step to this step. And then how did you go from this step to this step? How did you get to 63? You subtracted. one from 64. And there you go. Okay, so whenever they say justify each step, you think, how did I get to this step? What did I do beforehand to get to that step? All right, and don't forget each time, always go through the steps of PEMDAS every single time. Um, start at the beginning and double check yourself. And then each time you go down, bring the surrounding things down. Otherwise, some people end up forgetting something or if they don't bring it down carefully, they end up doing the same operation twice. It happens more often than you'd think. So I strongly recommend that you bring things down and then you forget about everything up above and now you just focus on this line. Then simplify this line and keep going. All right, if you got those right, congratulations, my little mathematicians. If not, we have plenty of extra practice with order of operations, so go ahead and give them a try.